hi everyone welcome to my channel here today we are with new experiment of amphibian physiology we have covered simple muscle twitch in last video and this is the second experiment that is increasing strength of stimulus on muscle contraction so this is the graph which represent this experiment the scientists have done it uh, and you should know some viva questions which you can be asked in your exam with this graph okay so this graph uh, uh, basically i recommend that you should know two things about graph first of all for every graph first of all you should know that what is your observation and second thing is what is physiology behind it okay if some terms are written if as anything written or anything marked on the graph you should know those basic as well okay so uh, starting from as you can see there are few lines which represent the muscle contraction and since this is not a waveform because the uh, drum is not moving here if we move the drum it will be like a waveform if we don't move the drum it will be like a line okay so we have to uh, just compare the height of contraction depending on strength of stimulus so that's why we didn't move the drum first thing second thing what is this thing what is this labeling and sometime you uh, found a label of m and b okay so what is this basically for to know this you should know how the experiment was done that time so the experiment was done uh, with a primary uh, uh, if you know this primary coil this is just a representative image of uh, induction coil dubois raymond induction coil if you remember you must have drawn in your manuals basically we have a primary coil and we have a secondary coil okay so uh, we know that uh, the primary circuit is connected to the primary coil so here the dc current flows and since this is a copper coil surrounded uh, in uh, surrounded around a iron core so basically the magnetic field generates when the ac comes the dc comes so because of this dc current the magnetic field generate and uh, this is also the same coil but multiple turns are there of wires the copper wire and that's how this magnetic field will induce the magnetic field in this coil so basically how they stimulated uh, the tissues is basically that they decrease the distance between these two coils as they reduce the distance the current increases the strength of current increases so uh, can you see a scale between them so if they are far apart like at 24 cm the current was minimal and since uh, they uh, come nearer to the primary coil there is reduction in the distance and increase in the strength of current so i think now the basic is clear to you so if you found a if you find a graph like this and have below the markings of the uh, distance between primary and secondary coil so you should be knowing this concept okay what is mb here mb is basically make or break the circuit so when when they start switch on the key make the circuit or switch off the key break the circuit so there is increase in this current strength okay and that's why increase in response as well if you find in graph two lines for m and b separately sometime you call, you can also get those so there is small line for m and since the current strength increases hence response increases for b there is more bigger line or there is increase in height okay so this is all about how they achieved it okay now let's just try to understand what is this next viva question will be how, why the heights are increasing and why the heights are stable so for this there are some terms there is a stimulus strength where the first response started okay this stimulus strength is called threshold stimulus okay below these whatever value you have given those stimulus strengths are sub threshold stimuli stimuli means number of stimulus okay now the point is clear so you can be asked what is threshold stimulus so the minimum amount of minimum strength of current which can elicit a response fine so as you can see then if we increase the strength or we reduce the uh, distance between two coils as you can see the height increases okay and till a point okay then uh, if 
this uh, current strength if we talk about where we got the maximal response fine that is called maximal stimulus so that stimulus strength where we got the maximal response okay uh, so the there are number of stimuli between threshold and maximal all those where the strength uh, the uh, force of contraction increases or tension of muscle contraction increases okay those stimulus strength are sub maximal stimuli fine then after maximal stimuli there are no change in height of contraction further so all those stimulus are basically supra maximal fine are you clear now sub threshold stimulus threshold stimulus sub maximal maximal and supra maximal so these are the viva question you should know okay so threshold stimulus is the minimum stimulus strength which can elicit first response sub threshold stimuli the strength of stimuli which cannot elicit a response right maximal stimuli the uh, the stimulus strength able to elicit maximal contraction maximal response or maximal height of contraction whatever you can say okay and supra maximal stimulus now the question is why there is no further height of contraction okay what is the concept behind it so your observation is the height of contraction increases with increase in strength of stimulus till a limit after that there is no increase in height okay this is your observation now what is physiology behind it physiology behind it is basically dependent on the number of motor unit recruited what is motor unit you should know the concept here motor unit is basically one single nerve fiber and all the muscle supplied by that nerve fiber so that constitute one motor unit so in since we are stimulating now now may have many motor units right so when we start stimulating at the threshold stimulus there are few motor units recruited what that means that some now fibers are stimulated or action potential generated in those which lead to contraction of those muscle fibers so hence the increase in now fiber stimulation is called basically recruitment of motor unit so with increase in stimulus there is increase in number of motor unit recruited okay and at maximal stimulus all the motor unit present in the now are already recruited that's why if further we increase the strength of stimulus we can't find any further change in response now i think the point is clear to you what is increase in strength of stimulus on muscle contraction so one thing is the observation you should know all these values all these definitions and the last physiology behind it is basically the concept of motor unit recruitment i hope this point is clear to you good uh, so next we will be talking about next experiment thank you so much happy learning bye bye